When the lush green turns brown, a season ends. Like all other mortals, the season of Nigeria's foremost football administrator, Chief Taiwo Joseph Ogunjobi ends, but not without grace. The exit of the football legend, whose sun sets on February 11, 2019, did not go uncelebrated. The final phase of the celebration of the life of Chief Taiwo Ogunjobi was held at the Living Spring Chapel International on Friday, March 15, 2019. The funeral service for the late football administrator was graced by Woods Wu in the football fraternity in Nigeria. They all came to pay their last respects to the man they fondly called Skipo. Speaking at the church service, the number one man in Nigerian football circle, Amaju Pinik, described late Ogunjobi as a great administrator who played a major part in the success story of Nigerian football. The NFF president then announced that the building housing the Ocean State Football Association would be named after late Taiwo Ogunjobi. One of the legacy things that we do as a legacy project in NFF is to build football houses in all the states. Thank God Ocean State was one of the first states that we have completed that project. So by the powers of the me, by the Congress, by members of the executive committee, I hereby remain that state I will put up in the announcement by Mr. Pinnick is in response to the call by the presiding priest at the funeral service, Pastor Femi Emmanuel, that the late football administrator should be immortalized. Earlier in his sermon at the church service, Pastor Emmanuel noted that the late Taiwo Ogunjobi lived a fulfilled life. Let's wear a celebration look for the man. which every one of us will one day pass through. In his remarks at the funeral service, the eldest son of the deceased, Mr. Deji Ogunjobi, similarly disclosed that the Ogunjobi family has concluded plans to set up a foundation in memory of the former NFF Secretary General to give scholarship to indigent students. Students of late Ogunjobi's alma mater, Ibadan Grammar School, paid their last respects to their school's old students by singing their school's anthem for the deceased. Born in Lagos on the 17th of August 1953 into the household of late Spa Joshua Ogunjobi and Mrs. Abigail Ogunjobi, Chief Taiwo Ogunjobi hailed from Itakogun Square in Ilesha Osho State. After attending elementary schools in Oshogbu and Lagos, Chief Ogunjobi proceeded to African Church Grammar School Ilesha for his secondary school education and later attended Ibadan Grammar School for his higher school certificates. It was while doing his HSC in Ibadan Grammar School that he joined the IICC Shooting Stars in 1975. Late Taiwo Ogunjobi in his 66 years of eventful life played and administered football to the highest levels. In 1970s and 80s, late Taiwo Ogunjobi played for IICC Shooting Stars and Nigeria's senior soccer team, then called the Green Eagles. After retiring from active play, the football legend administered shooting stars as well as Gabros International and Julius Beggar before moving to the Nigerian Football Federation Board, where he served as the Federation Secretary General during Dominic Oneya and Ibrahim Galadima's reign as NFF presidents. He also held the position of the Chairman of Chairmen during the Sonny Lulu Abdullahi administration in the Glass House. In 2006, late Ogunjobi was elected the chairman of Osho State Football Association, the position he held until his death last month. Aside many laurels he won in the round leather game, the accomplished sports administrator also backed the chieftaincy title in Ede Osho State. He was the Fiwa Joye of Ede Land. A distinguished player he was, Late Taiwo Joseph Ogunjobi played a good game and left the field of play with his head high. He is survived by his wife of 37 years, Bukola, five children, and several grandchildren.